Senegal's top opposition leader, suffered a major setback in his bid for the presidential election on Friday when a top court upheld a liberal ruling against him and the Constitutional Council rejected his application for candidacy, saying it was incomplete. In the race to succeed President Macky Sall, who is stepping down after two terms, he was seen as a strong possible challenger. Sanko has been the subject of several court cases in 2021, all of which he denies. His lawyer, Siri Kledo Lee, told reporters that Usman Sanko's application to the council was examined without his representative, flagrant violation of the law before it was rejected. From the very beginning, the government has shown its willingness to annul the candidacy of Usman Sanko. Sanko came third in the country's 2019 presidential election. He is widely seen as the main challenger to President Macky Sall's ruling party. Sall himself, after months of sometimes deadly protests by Sanko's supporters, ultimately decided not to seek a third term in office. According to the Senegalese Electoral Code, such a conviction makes one ineligible to run for president. Although the Constitutional Council's decision is unrelated to Sanko's defamation conviction, it has the final say in all candidacies, including that of the opposition leader. Sanko is currently in prison on an unrelated charge and will continue to serve the six-month suspended prison sentence that was part of his conviction in the defamation case last year.